It's been 23 years since St. John's won an NCAA tournament game, and the program has been looking for someone to resurrect its fortunes in Queens. Beautiful night in New York City. In comes Rick Patino returning to the Big East for the third time in his career, and with that comes Patino's relentless pursuit and attention to detail during practice. And with that, Sports Center's all access with the Red Storm right now during their practice. Seth Greenberg, Rick Patino, take it away. Too Rick, much space, too much space. What are you space. trying to get accomplished doing a lot of this offense, defense, offense, getting them playing in transition? More than anything else, they love playing offensive transition. The difficult thing is defensive transition. So trying to get them, they're all fatigued. They've been going really, really hard. Getting them to talk in transition is probably the most difficult thing to teach in basketball. And now that they're doing, we stop it and we say, Dico, you didn't talk. Everybody, we're gonna run now. So we're getting to the point right now where we're all talking, our defense is matching our offense. How about to have DJ here with you after being with you at Iona? What was that, just getting your messaging across to these guys, understanding what you want? Well, he's the leader of the team, but more important, he's 6'3", athletic guard who can shoot. And, you know, I was really disappointed his teammate, Walter Clayton, didn't come with me, because that was a dream backcourt. Now, that being said, DJ's, in my opinion, is a first-rounder, because he makes everybody better, and he can score, and he's athletic. Plays defense. So I'm very lucky to have had him at Iona, and I'm very lucky to have him here at St. John's. I do feel a little overdressed, I gotta be honest with you, but your experience overseas, what did you bring from that experience to now back to the college game in terms of how you're coaching offensively? Coaching in Greece, you know, I'm 65, I'm going over there, no family members are coming with me. I don't speak Greek, and a tough language to learn. I had maybe two of the best years of my life from a basketball learning experience. Everywhere I went with Madrid, Barcelona, Tel Aviv, Moscow, St. Petersburg, one coach was better than the next. There was all these hundreds of jokers, jokers running around. <laughs> now, not as good, not as good, but they all play that style of basketball. So it taught me at age 65 so much about ball movement, player movement, going back door, and it was sensational to coach Panathinaikos. When you see your team right now, and feel free to coach these guys up. I mean, when you see your team right now, where are you in this process in this first year? Well, you see those those three guys on the sideline over there. Yeah. They're all very RJ, Luis, very good player, Cruz Davis. And then I got the young man on the bike, um, uh, Jordan Dingle. They're all terrific. But once we get totally healthy, we're going to be very deep. Depth will be our strength. Uh, right now, they're in fabulous shape going without subs. Yeah. But once we get the depth, I think we're going to be pretty damn good. How about going back to the garden? Like, all us New Yorkers, something special about going back to the garden. Like, bringing St. John's back in the garden like it used to be back in the day. What would, it be that, what would that be like for you? You know, for me, coaching the Knicks, for a New Yorker growing up, and you get to coach the New York Knicks both as an assistant on the great E.B. Brown and then a head coach, um, it was a dream come true. And now to bring St. John's back into the garden where they were going the other way. They were going from seven to six to five to four. And we're going eight, 10, 12. Um, you know, Mike Craig's gonna have a heart attack with all the money we're gonna spend, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll find another AD. Hey. <laughs> oh boy. We'll edit that one out. Arthur Ashe Stadium, you wanna play a game there? I do. We'd like to play Duke there. If somebody mentioned it, I don't think Duke knows it yet. But, um, and I'm in jest with Mike because I love him. Um, but you know, it's 22,000 people. It's Arthur Ashe, you know, such a great name for a New Yorker to go back there and play. We're gonna play there or opening game in Vegas against a big opponent. It's awesome. Louie never backed down against anybody and we're gonna try not to play. Sure. Thanks so much, really Thanks appreciate it, man. Appreciate Thanks for letting us in. Shay, inside St. John's basketball with Rick Pitino, the Hall of Famer. Shot! Thank you, Coach Greenberg. <laughs>